God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am so privileged by the Holy Spirit to be with you and I am excited about uh, the amazing things we are going to talk about today and I know the Lord Jesus will be glorified and be lifted. I want you to let somebody know that we are live, share the link, Amen. text somebody and um, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be outstanding and, and God will surely, surely, surely um, reveal himself amongst us. Uh, I am so excited for this because I understand that... Um, you know, every moment we have to get close to God, to know the Lord, is another opportunity to, to grow in Him. And our growth in the Spirit is not in merely reading or praying. It is in the revelation knowledge we have concerning God. Amen. That is why the Bible says that we ought to know Him. Not just to be born again, not just to receive Him, but we need to know Him. It is a calling to know him. We have to strive to know him. Because the more we know about God, the more we know about God, the greater our place and our position in him is, and the more God can use us. Amen. So what I'm going to be speaking about is going to be sensitive. It may be one of those delete videos, depending on how things go. If I get too carried away, then it's going to be a delete video. Amen. If I stay kind of, you know, in the shallow end a little bit, I mean, nothing about this will be shallow, but, and I don't think anything about God is shallow, but I think that if it is the regular thing, that's the right wording. If it's one of the regular things, then we'll just leave it on. Um, you know, um, it, it is amazing to see how many people are being touched by what God has given to us. Amen. You see, there are some people that, um, I always say this and I say this with all love. If you ever see a man or a woman take a whole hour, or even five minutes, ten minutes, talking about you, just know you're doing the work of God and you're doing it perfectly. Amen. Some people need to bring you down in order to validate their Christianity. Uh, there are people who have to do that. They feel the need to say you are wrong so that they feel good about themselves. Um, and, and I'm always encouraged because when I see those things, then I know that even demons that are hiding in children of God are being exposed. Because you start seeing people who are supposed to be lovers of God insulting people calling people names, <laughs> immediately you know that what is inside of them is shaken. So I want you to know that if you have not become a topic, you're not on top. Okay. <laughs> I'll say that one more time. If you, if you have never become a topic, a topic, you've never been on top. So I am grateful to God to all those who would say things or, you know, there are many people that instead, they, and they love God. Talk about what you know about God. Yeah. Why are you busy talking about other people? It's because you have nothing from God. He didn't even call you. You make it to heaven. Anyone that gives their life to Jesus will go to heaven. You know, I'm not here to say who's going to hell or not. We know those who don't have Christ are definitely going to hell. But these people have the need to validate themselves so much to say, you are not a Christian. That one is a Christian. Wow. You just realize that you're doing so well that they need your name to get an audience. Mm. Mm. If they post themselves, they will not get anyone. Yeah. That's good. So we encourage them to keep doing that because every time people see those videos, they go and look at me, they realize that I'm talking about Christ. Right. And they love Jesus the more. So it's free marketing and we celebrate Jesus for it. Amen. Somebody clap your hands for that. <laughs> it doesn't make us any difference. <laughs> but Jesus is Lord regardless of all. Now hear me and hear me by the Spirit of God. I'm going to be speaking about something very beautiful, very profound, because it is in the mind of God. Now, I am going to read some scriptures for you and then I will start breaking it down. And then I will open your eyes by the grace of God for you to actually see hidden truths that have been be right before you. 
And then you will begin to understand why certain people function a certain way in God and why others don't. Mm. I'm going to be talking about the lost thrones of God. The lost thrones of God. Somebody just typed the lost thrones of God. Uh, one more time. The lost of God. One more time. <laughs> the lost of God. Ah, it's too much. Now, let's go to the Bible really quick. This is a sweet one. This is a sweet one. Uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. Amen. Mm hmm. Who is the image of the invisible God? Uh -huh. He's talking about the Lord Jesus, who is the, the image of the invisible God, meaning God cannot be seen, but he materialized himself through the person of the Lord Jesus. That's why we say God reincarnated, God in the realm of, of creation. Mm. Okay, keep going. Amen. Who is the image of the invisible God? Uh -huh. The firstborn of every creature. Mm -hmm. For by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven and mm -hmm. that are in earth. One Visible. more time. By him what? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, mm -hmm. visible and invisible. What? Notice that by him all things were created, visible things and invisible. Mm. I want you to pay attention to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we say invisible or the Bible says invisible, it is not necessarily speaking about heaven. It's just saying what is around you, but you cannot see. Mm, okay. Mm. It is substance. It is material. But your eyes cannot see it. But it doesn't mean that it's not there. Mm. Okay, I think you guys are too calm for me. No, this can is you good. refresh YouTube for me so I can see um, those, those who are online? I think the people in here are too... We're learning. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate, but I don't know if I... <laughs> We're here. Read that part again. Like, like savor the word when you're reading it. Mm -hmm. Go again. Uh -huh. For by him were all things created mm -hmm. that are in heaven and that are in earth. Yes. Visible and invisible. Notice things that are in heaven and things that are in the earth. Mm. So in heaven also... There are things that are invisible. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are going Go somewhere. We haven't even spoken yet. We haven't ah. even started. Come on. We're ready. We're ready. Somebody will say, well, how is that possible? Yeah. Well, if you read in Revelation, it tells you clearly. As mighty angel said, who can open the scrolls? Mm. And who has the power to do it? Oh my goodness. The man of God looked in heaven, on the earth and under the earth, and he could find no one. Mm. Then an elder came and said, look over there. Mm. <laughs> the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed to open the scroll. Notice they were in heaven and Jesus was in heaven, but they didn't see him. Oh my gosh. They didn't even know there was somebody in heaven that could open the scroll. Oh John said, I looked in heaven, there was nobody. On the earth, there was nobody, and under the earth. Now, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I looked in heaven, on the earth, and under the earth, and there was nobody. What is under the earth? Teachers. Teachers. He's saying, I was looking for somebody that can open the scroll, even under the earth. You only think about hell that is under the earth. Whoa. You don't know. <laughs> I'm going to zip my mouth. <laughs> Come on, have if, if I keep talking, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Let me shut myself. Help us. We want to learn. Why is he looking? Notice he did not say in hell. Yeah. He did not say in the realm of the dead. But I sought even under the earth and there was no one that was worthy. Meaning he was looking among those who are worthy. Yes. Wow. Oh my God. He was not looking for those who are not worthy. Okay. Go deep, go deep. 
So what does that mean? Just by this verse. There are rankings that are in heaven. There are rankings that are on earth. There are rankings that are in the invisible realm under the earth that are worthy of doing. They have a ranking, a position in heaven that they can cause certain things to happen in heaven that some people that may be in heaven don't have the power to. Wow. 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 I, I, I don't know if I made sense by what I said. Yes. So there are people <laughs> that, that, that are on earth, but they have power to do some things in heaven that creatures that are in heaven cannot. Wow. <laughs> and there are beings that are in heaven, if they come to earth, they have to submit to a person on the earth. Oh my gosh. Father Abraham, send me upon the earth so that I can go and warn my brothers. Mm. Father Abraham says, uh, if they would not listen to Moses and them, yeah. then they would not listen to you. So there's another world under the earth you just don't know. Oh but the problem is many of you are so demonized that everything under the earth is demon. You don't know this God we are serving. Wow. <laughs> oh, we're learning today. Is hell somewhere under there? True. Not a lie. But there are so many dimensions, there are so many realms that one day by God's mercies, as you enter his kingdom, your mind will be opened. You will see things, you'll be like, how could I live so mediocre on earth? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> when Samuel came up, when the woman uh, divined him up. Where did, that, where did Samuel come from? Uh, what does the Bible say? He came from where? Under the ground. I can't hear you. Under the ground. He came from where? Under the ground. Was he by himself? No, there were angels with him. You think you know this world, you don't. <laughs> wow. This may be, that's why I said this wow. may be on some delete stuff. Somebody said Abraham's bosom. No. There's Abraham's bosom and there's other things. Uncle, Uncle Musa is already on the delete tip. <laughs> Tell us all the secrets, sir. Let's carry on. Let's go deep. Read again. Keep going. Somebody said purgatory. Nope. Keep going. <laughs> Verse 16, mm -hmm. for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Mm. Notice Visible. in earth, <laughs> not just on. <laughs> Keep in, going. Oh my. <laughs> Keep that going. are in earth, visible and invisible, uh -huh. whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Stop right there. Whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers. Notice, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Everything about this place we are living in is a copy of somewhere else. <laughs> That's why Jesus spoke about mansions. But mm -hmm. you think we are the first ones to build mansions. No, we are not. Oh my gosh. Good. The earth is simply a mirror of, or, or, or mirror is like direct reflection, but no, that, that's not a very accurate term. But it's literally a copy of a copy. Mm. Now, the kingdom system did not come from man, it came from God. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Meaning the earth also was created to carry out the will of who? God. God. Mm. Mm. Because if it's somewhere he's going to rule, then he's going to maintain the same system across. Mm -hmm. Because that's how God is. 
Are we together so far? Yes, we're here. So when God created both visible and invisible in heaven and on earth, there's something that God established. Thrones, dominion, principalities, and then powers. Thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers. The Bible says he who descended is the same one that ascended above all heavens. Right? And we are seated with Christ where? In heavenly places. Above what? Above what? Principalities, powers, and what? Uh, okay, guys, you um, <laughs> Auntie Benz, can you say it? We are seated above what? Uh-huh. 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 Notice that. Notice there's one guy not mentioned in this thing. Mm. Thrones is not mentioned. Oh. Oh, wow. But it is mentioned, but you're not catching it. You are seated. <laughs> of all the angelic rankings that fell, thrones never did. Because thrones is not just, they are not just spiritual beings. But they are also a place that you are positioned in. Are you still here? Yes. Satan, when you read in Isaiah or you read Ezekiel when they are speaking about him. There is something that the devil wanted to do. What did he say I will do? I will lift up what? My Not myself. My throne. Mm. Let's go offline. I'm, let, let, me, let me stop. Satan knew he cannot be exalted in the spiritual realm if his throne is not lifted. Wow. Wow. His place of influence was because he was anointed. Why is he anointed? Because you are anointed for appointment. He was appointed a place. But the throne he was given was a low class throne. That is why when you look at where Satan was, he was not in the high heavens at all. He desired to ascend. He said, I will ascend after my throne has been exalted. He said, I will lift up my throne, not me, my throne, Above the clouds, above the stars, wow. above. And I will be seated in the council in the north. And I will be like the most high. Yes. So if the throne is not exalted, the person cannot be exalted. Wow. You're teaching good. Wow. Wow. When Satan was kicked out, he was kicked out, but his throne remained. Mm. Break it down. He was thrown, but his throne remained. Wow. I fear to teach this spiritual reality stuff because some of you just like the regular stuff, so maybe sometimes it's better to stay in that. There is, a, there is a reason why I am telling you this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis 1 and 26. Uh -huh. And it reads, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over Stop the... Stop right there. You can never have dominion unless you have a throne. No throne, no dominion. The reason why you can cast out demons, the reason why you can pull down the works of the devil, the reason why you can scatter him is because he has no throne. 
Anyone that has no throne has no power of influence because it is from the place of thrones that decrees are made that dominions and powers and principalities carry it out. If there is no throne, you have no power of declaration. If there is no throne, you have no power to rule anything. That is why it says what? What, what does the Bible say? It says we shall sit in Christ, with Christ. Why are we sitting? Because if you know the kingdom system, a king cannot make a decree unless he's on his throne. Oh my God. If he's off his throne, he's a regular person. The moment he sits on that throne... power so when satan was thrown into the earth he thought he could reclaim man's throne ah. okay break it down break it down we're here we're here let me give you an example before i go deep into this thing if you read in scripture, mm -hmm. in places where the power of God was so visible that whether you believed in God or not, you saw it mm -hmm. consistently, continually, was when God's earthly throne was established. Mm. When the Ark of the Covenant was built, even people could see when God came down. Anyone who tried to fight Israel lost. Mm -hmm. That they decided, you know what, we need to steal their ark. Because if we have their ark, yes. we will have, they will not be powerful anymore. They stole the ark. The ark made them sick. They had to send it back. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Thrones are important. Amen. Amen. Teachers, teachers, the Bible says God who is enthroned between the cherubims. Mm. Because God's throne at that time on the ark was two cherubims. It was, and it was designed after a heavenly throne. <laughs> it was not an earthly design. Wow. It was an earthly design inspired from heaven. God told him specifically how to do it. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will come and I will sit. If you're here, just let me see number one before I go deep into this number thing. One, just one. type one, just type one, type one. Before I go too deep into this. Hey, sh I changed here. my mind, woman of God. Can I have a... Tea, please. Hot one. I touched it. Did you add ice? Hey, it just became extra cold. <laughs> okay, people online are listening. Guys, don't ask other questions. Just focus on this. Some people are asking, what does 9-11 nine, uh, mean? I keep seeing it. Don't worry about that right now. Let's just focus okay. on this. There are times we'll do interpretation of things, but this is not that time. What you're listening is better than seeing yes. 911. Amen. Thank you. So hear me by the Holy Spirit. If God's will is to be done on earth, there are certain spiritual offices that have to be occupied. Because the rulership of God in all his kingdoms, both visible and invisible, have the same things. That is why he said, whether visible or invisible, mm -hmm. in heaven or on earth, whether they be thrones, whether they be dominions, whether they be principalities of powers, they are all created by him. Mm -hmm. So it means that they are thrones physically and spiritually. Mm -hmm. Let me explain it. Mm -hmm. There is somebody on earth that is occupying a throne in heaven. Mm -hmm. 
And there is somebody on earth who was supposed to occupy a throne that hasn't occupied a throne. Wow. So to God, those are lost thrones. Because if those thrones are not occupied, his will cannot be done. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. As a child of God, you give your life to Christ our Lord. You lift your hands. You ask him genuinely. He will fill you with the Spirit. It is the Father's great pleasure. But it doesn't mean you're occupying a throne. This is why there are men you can meet. They will say one word. Your whole life changes. And there are men you will meet. They will pray for you. Nothing will change. Yeah. Some things may change, but big things cannot change. Why? Not everybody is occupying a throne. Oh, this is so good. Keep going. This is great. So there are so many children of God that are appointed a place. But many have not gotten to that place to occupy a throne. Because whoever is able to occupy a throne, to be seated on a throne, has both physical and spiritual influence to carry out the will of God. Mm. Mm. Is this making sense? Yes. This is why Satan was fighting for his throne to be lifted. Because mm. even though he is a cherubim, and there are other cherubims that were in the presence of God. You know, many of you think Satan met God. He never met God. He never even knew God. What do I mean he never knew God? He never had an experience with God. Not every angel meets God. The ones that meet God are those who have a throne. Mm. Wow. Wow. Because those are the ones that take something from God and pass it on to everybody. This is why Daniel meets Gabriel and Gabriel tells him, your prince Michael, meaning Michael is so high ranked in heaven that to human beings is considered a prince. Wow. Wow. Are you guys listening yes. to me? Yes, we are here. No angel has the power to pass judgment on man unless they are on a throne. It doesn't matter how you make an angel upset. He cannot operate out of his own will if he's not on a throne. Good example. The father of John mm -hmm. is in the temple. Gabriel appears to him, mm. gives him great, amazing tidings. And he doubts Gabriel. Did you hear what Gabriel says? He says, I am Gabriel who standeth in the presence, who, who, who is before God. I stand before the presence of God. Yeah. You doubt me. Why did he need to say who he was? He expected this guy to know the place he occupies in heaven. Wow. Oh my goodness. said, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God. Because you have doubted me, you will not speak until this child is born. He did not say because God said, he said, I am offended yeah. that I am speaking to you as Gabriel. Not any, he didn't mention anybody law. He said, me, Gabriel, I am talking to you and you doubt me. You're not going to speak. Meaning he became emotional. Angels are emotional. He felt offended. He's like, what? Do you, do you, do you know who I am? Wow. Do you know where I am in heaven? Notice he pointed out a location. Yeah. You see, the mighty angel who shouted, who can open this seal? He was mighty, but he was not a throned angel. Because if he was, he may have known the insight that the seven mm -hmm. spirits and the 24 elders who stand before, who sit and stand before God know. That is why an elder was like, let me go and help these guys. Mm. 
So the devil wanted his throne to be lifted because he understood if I am my if my throne can be moved from this dimension to this dimension to this level to that level then I will become more like the most high. So there's a mystery many of you don't know. Just because an angel is a seraphim doesn't mean he's high ranked in heaven. You can be a seraphim but you're in the low heavens. The only time you hear about seraphims that are in his presence are the, f are the two that fly, shouting holy, holy. You don't hear about other seraphims being in his temple. Okay, I think I'm... I, no, this is, good. is this messing with you? Or, um, We're learning. I, are you hearing me? Yes. There are only two wow. mentions that are where God is. And they cover themselves, shouting, adoring God. The four living creatures, who are the four cherubims also, they are also in God's presence. There's only how many? Four. But we know there are more than four cherubims. And then there is the 24 elders. These are the only guys that are seeing God face to face. So whenever God wants to do something, it goes through these people to get to the whole visible or invisible created realms. Wow. 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 Adam had a throne set up that he did not occupy. What? He was to occupy it but sin made him lost, lose his throne. Oh, man. This is great. The devil also thought that he could take it, but he could not. This is why when you see the devil talking to Jesus, our Lord, in the wilderness, the devil says something interesting. He says, Here all the kingdom of this world. They were given to me, and I can give it to anybody. He said, I can give you kingdoms, but the devil has no throne. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so he doesn't have any kingdom. Oh my God. Because God can enthrone you. You go to a different country and win the whole country for Jesus. And whatever demon that was trying to control that place is crushed, that whole place goes to Christ. Wow. The reason why they can be crushed is because they have no throne. So their rulership is a, is a, is a, is a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's, a, it's, a, it's against spiritual law. It's against spiritual law. They don't have the right to do that. That is why you find that in the book of Revelation, it says there are demons that will be permitted, they will be given power to do certain things, meaning they will have the permission to do what they want and nobody will interfere with them until they carry out what they need to, but they have to be appointed to do that. This is why many of you are afraid of Satan for no reason. Now, when the Lord Jesus came on earth, died, and rose again, the Lord Jesus took two thrones. One throne that occupies his body <laughs> and one throne that occupies his spirit. Oh my God. Wow. Come on, man. Come on, keep going. <laughs> I'm afraid to continue. Are you sure? Yes. Please. We need more thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, y'all. Let's get the likes going. If you're still here, push one. We're going somewhere. Mm. <laughs> wow. The Bible says Jesus sits on the throne of who? 
I can hear you. David. Please speak to me like you mean it. David. Jesus sat on the throne of his father who? David. Did Jesus sit on a throne when he was on earth? But our Lord Jesus carried the influence of a king. Yes. He controlled the whole country. That the Pharisees didn't even know how to touch him. That's why Jesus gave himself up. They had to lie and Jesus had to surrender. Even Pilate was like, you know I can free you. He said, you really think this world is my kingdom? Do you think if this was... I, they would just give me up. Yeah. Say, I lay down my life. Don't worry, the fault is not with you. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why Pilate was actually, you see, when Pilate wanted to release the Lord, it was not really Pilate speaking. He was being influenced. Because if Jesus being on the throne yes. is persecuted and killed unjustly, yes. it breaks the system of the earth. so much that is why hell could not hold the Lord Jesus yeah. because he was blameless and sinless so when he entered hell hell broke <laughs> because how did you allow a throne to get in here so when throne got in there he took he did not ask he did not beg he took the yes. keys And when he took the keys, he gave it to us. Why did he give us the keys? Because it is only a throne that can delegate power and dominion. So God worked a spiritual loophole to destroy hell. This is when they say, Jesus, son of... Jesus, he ignored them. Jesus ignored them. When he said, son of David, oh. he invoked the throne. Wow. The throne made Jesus attend to him. Wow. Somebody type the lost thrones of God. The lost thrones of God. Okay, go ahead. You, you have a question before I give you scriptures. Yeah, go ahead. So, is the millennial reign when Jesus claims his physical throne? Yes. Everyone will see him for the thousand years. Yes. Now you've gone to another dimension. But even look at that still. It says you will rule with him. You will sit with him. Remember the, 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 the two apostles came with their mother. And they said, Lord, when you enter your kingdom, allow one of my son to sit on your left and one on, my, on your right. right. Jesus said, you guys don't know what you're asking for. But how did they know that they needed to be seated? It's because they understood the kingdom system. Oh, there is a throne in your family. You need to recover it. Let me talk to people online. There was something the Lord God Almighty wanted to do in your family. But without anyone ever grabbing the throne that was established, the will of God cannot actually manifest in that place. Because you will not have the power to make decrees and they will come to pass. You see, when Esther ran into the king's chamber, she was supposed to die by law. But because the king is on the throne, he could change the law anytime. When you occupy a throne, people who are supposed to die, you can save them and bring them to Christ. 
you can break those things that are holding them and bring them to the Lord Jesus. Let's read some verses. <laughs> Psalms 122 from verse 1 to 5. Psalms 122, mm -hmm. verse 1 to 5. Yes. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is why you need to be glad when you're going to church. Mm, amen. Keep, keep going. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is builded mm -hmm. as a city that is compact together. Mm -hmm. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, Mm -hmm. unto the testimony of Israel mm -hmm. to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For there are set thrones of judgment, the Ooh. thrones of the house of David. Oh, there are set thrones of judgment. That, notice, there are set thrones of judgment. Keep reading. The thrones of the house of David. There are thrones in the house of who? David. David. David had one throne, but there are other thrones that were set up because of David. Oh. Break it down. We're ready. Read verse 5 again. Verse 5. For there are set thrones of judgment. Now let's, let's understand what throne means the place of power, place okay. of dominion, place of control. Judgment means justice. Many of you, when you read the word judgment, you think punishment. When he says, I am the Lord who loves judgment, it means I am the Lord who loves to give justice. Okay, amen. Because a judge is there to give justice. Amen. He's not there to punish. That's not the duty of a judge. Okay, amen. The judge's duty is to give you what you what deserve. That's good. This is why I always love people. Who, I'm sorry, forgive me. Don't be offended. I am saying this so that you can mature in Christ. Amen. Yes. Thank you. This is why I always laugh at people who say, we are going to go to the court of heaven and plead our case. You don't know you are a judge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no way it says go and plead your case. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. For there are set thrones in the house of David. They are set thrones. He did not say they are occupied, but they are set. Mm. And these thrones are in the house of David. And they are thrones of what? Judgment. Please read it again for me. Verse 5. For there are set thrones of judgment, mm -hmm. the thrones of the house of David. The thrones of the house of David. So the house of David established to what? Thrones. Deep. Deep. So when Jesus came and he rose up again, what does it say? For we are seated with Christ Jesus. He enthroned us in those thrones that were set, but no one was occupying. Thrones were set. This is why the Pharisees were shocked. How did the apostles become so powerful all of a sudden? It is because, you see, in a kingdom, people can pass who were sitting on a throne, but the throne is the same. Prince Charles is sitting on the throne of his mother. His mother was sitting it from the one before. And the one before sitting yeah. before the one before. Before the one before. Be the power is the same, different people. So if somebody is not on a throne, they cannot delegate power. Somebody with a throne can produce dominion. But somebody who is not on a throne cannot have dominion. That's why it's always funny when people say, take up your authority from who? From where? Yeah. Who delegated it to you? Who gave it to you? Oh, my goodness. 
This is why the Pharisees always asked, they asked John, by whose authority are you doing this? They even asked Jesus, by whose authority are you doing this? Is because they knew you cannot have authority unless it's delegated to you. The church doesn't understand the kingdom of heaven. They think everyone has authority. Yeah. No. Come on. Come on. If it was true, we would have all been functioning the same. Yeah. This is why there is no humility in the church to learn from one another, to be prayed for by others, to be laid hands on by others, is because everybody thinks everyone is the same. Uh, there's, a, there's a message that uh, uh, Prophet E.J. had forwarded to me about somebody that wrote some, some nonsense to him. So I clicked the guy's profile. I saw first a message. The person was asking me for two months, going, oh, please mentor me, please mentor me. I know God can. Come on. Then after that, the person all of a sudden, after months, because I get so many uh, messages, but I just saw it because... He sent it to me, he was just sending to me, he said, look at these people. They don't know what they are doing. So I go into the person's message, I see the first message, I see the second message. Please mentor me, I just know I'm called into the prophetic, this and this and this. Uh, six months later, about six months later, the person is now a prophet. The person sends me a video, says, the Lord Jesus said, repent or judgment is coming. Oh. <laughs> so sometimes I'm petty, forgive me. <laughs> I actually responded I said thank you very much <laughs> he said something I told him so what did God say so that I can repent Because God cannot tell you to give somebody a message without knowing where they went wrong. Uh, deep. That's good. Mm. Crickets for a second. <laughs> then they responded with something else. I said, you see, you, you, you can't even hear God. Instead of humbling yourself so that you're taught, so that you can mature and serve the purpose God has given you. Oh, man, I don't, that's what the devil tells me. I, 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 can't, I, I, I love Jesus. I'm a humble servant. I say, okay. He made a quote that he misquoted scripture. I asked him, are you sure that's what the verse said? Uh, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm not even going to debate the scriptures because, you know, we don't need the word like that. I just, I just said, one day you learn to be quiet so that you can be taught, so that you grow. And that was the last communication. Wrote a bunch of things else. And you understand that we all want something so bad, but we don't understand how God works. We don't know how that works. If somebody is endorsed by God and God hasn't endorsed you, you need to ask yourself, what realm are they operating from? Where has God positioned them? So they are set thrones. They are set thrones that are waiting to be occupied. But they haven't yet been occupied. Anyone that is in Christ is a new creation born from above. When Christ our Lord was on earth, he said, Behold, I give you authority and power. But when he resurrected, 
He did not just give us authority and power. He gave us access to thrones. He said, you are seated in heavenly places. It was not just authority and power over demons. This extended far beyond just demonic forces. Influence in the spiritual realm now. Because you being in God, it is obvious to deal with demons and to deal with the power of darkness. Because he's already a lesser being than us who are in Christ. But the influence now is in the realm of the spirit. But specifically in heaven. When Abraham met Melchizedek and he outgave Melchizedek, Melchizedek blessed him. What did he say? Blessed is Abraham, possessor of heaven and earth. Abraham possessed something in heaven. Somebody said the first tithe. No, it's not. The first tithe was with Cain and Abel. He possessed something in heaven. Do you know what the word possess means? He controlled. Can you go to that scripture quickly? Where Abraham meets Melchizedek. Let's go there quickly. Somebody wrote ownership by authority. That's good. Uh, I'm, I'm about to bring this to a close. Then I think we'll do part two, how to recover thrones. Genesis 14. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And verse 17. Mm -hmm. Actually, wait, wait, sorry. Genesis 14 from 19. Mm -hmm. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor mm -hmm. of heaven and earth. Hmm. Blessed is Abram of the Most High God. Possessor of heaven. So the first human being to recapture a throne in the spirit was Abraham. Because of what he did, he positioned himself spiritually to possess something in heaven. Abraham was the first person. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. You can't do that without a throne. Wow. Because heaven must follow what you want. Wow. A human being possessing heaven, how? Wow. How? That's why Father Abraham is a dangerous man. He was not a small boy. Oh. <laughs> There's a reason why he's called Father. Because through him, generations have found access to thrones. You see, Adam's dominion was for the earth. It was not for the spiritual world. Mm. So when you see men in power on earth, they are simply using a fallen throne that is no long, longer is, uh, recognized by heaven. Oh, wow. So they can have control of fleshly things, earthly things, but they never have impact 
that can last generations. Wow. Somebody asked something on, on uh, Facebook real quick. Let me see. Thank you for your super chat too. It says, uh, Papa, true leaders who are called to multitudes of people are the ones who are on thrones. Also to be a leader, you must have influence in both spiritual. Yes, but to be called doesn't mean you are chosen. You are supposed to because you are supposed to display the power of God. You're supposed to show the strength of God. You're supposed to do these things. But it doesn't mean that you have done it. And, and we, are going to, uh, and we are going to speak about these things in depth. Um, when, um, when, when we come back with part two. Amen. But let me, let me give you one more verse for tonight. I don't want to keep you all too, too long. Mm. Mm. Luke 20, you know what, let's read Ezekiel 26, 16. Let me mess you up before we go. <laughs> Ezekiel 26 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. Then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones. Uh, see, read that again. <laughs> then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones mm -hmm. and lay away their robes and put off their broidered garments. Mm -hmm. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. Mm -hmm. They shall sit upon the ground and shall tremble at every moment mm -hmm. and be astonished at thee. <sighs> they are evil kingdoms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Marine spirits. Demonic powers wow. that are sitting on false thrones. Because you see, Adam was supposed to control the sea, control the land, control oh. the air, control these things. Oh my so God. and his now control over the earth was lost. These spirits took over. And men were put in those positions by demons. Why? Because the rulership of God cannot work the way he wants it to because he established it to work through men. So even demons cannot rule without men. They need human beings to be at certain positions in order for them to do what they want to do. Without that, it cannot work. This year, in the name of the Lord Jesus, may you recover the throne that was assigned for your family. Amen. The Bible says it like this. Amen. The Bible says it like this. All the families of the earth will be blessed because of the seed. Meaning we are supposed to sit in a position whereby we can be a blessing to people both physically and spiritually. Amen, amen. amen. Oh, amen. Again. I want this to start being stirred up in your spirit, saying, Lord, I am seated with you, but am I really seated right now? Yeah. Because if I'm seated with you, my words must be powerful. When I call on you, I must see your move because you're my God, you're my Father. You see, we, we sometimes we are so blinded by blind faith, yet faith must see. If I am doing something and it's not working, I need to examine what is not working. That is called maturity, and that is called wisdom. If I see something not working out as it should, I need to be on the, hmm, why is this not working? What am I missing? What is going wrong? I need to know what is happening. We need to be like that. 
Amen. children of God. Amen. We must be like that. There is no other way. It is the only way to be. If not, we are going to blame everything on other people. We are going to blame everything on, on, on oh yeah, that, that's why some people have become uh, so useless that everyone that has power now, it's either demonic or it's gimmicks, they are lying to people. They find comfort in that to suit themselves, to say, at least we have the Bible. Yet the Bible is saying, the kingdom of God is not in word, but it's in the demonstration of the power of the Spirit. The demonstration of power and the Spirit. But they'll say, no, the word of God is enough for me. God said it's not enough. God said it's not enough. He says the gifts of God are for the edification of the church. Yes. Meaning the, word, the church does not only need the word. The word is important. But the, word does, the church doesn't only need the word. It needs the manifestation of God. Ooh. That's what encourages the body. Not just words. Amen. But they find comfort in that to suit themselves so that they can sleep well at night to say, I am better than yours, than you. Because they forget Matthew chapter 6. Father, I thank you that I'm not like those guys. And that those guys are like, Father, I'm not even worthy of looking to heaven. God receives them more than these other guys. Why? Because they pride themselves in, we read the word. The word is all we need. Yeah, God is saying, no, my friend, you need more than that. I did not give gifts so that they are shelved. I did not give you power so that it's just, you just read words. The world doesn't need words. They are real demons. Some of them don't even believe that they are demons. Yet you, okay, this is just, let's just show you how blinded they are with themselves. If there are no demons, why are there Masonic temples? temples? Yeah. Why are there occultic secret groups? Yeah. Why are all these things there? You are claiming there are no demons, but physically you walk around, you find a Masonic temple, you find an occultic thing there, you find this one there. Okay, so what is happening? These people are just delusional. And the worst thing about it all is they always think they are smarter than everyone else. Yes. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Be somebody that hungers to see the Lord Jesus. Amen. Be somebody that hungers to walk with Jesus. Not just words, not ideas, not thoughts, but somebody that is in action with God. This is necessary. Because majority of the world is walking away from God. Because they rather go to a tarot card reader. Yeah. They rather go to a medium across the street. They rather join a secret sect and see something. Yet, God is, a, is alive and well. Yeah. Powerful and capable. Yes. But because men want comfort zone. Until they're in big trouble. I'm telling you this and you remember what I'm telling you. Some of them that you've seen talking about some great men of God, including myself, you'll see them very soon, either seeking us to help them in prayer or you'll see one, of, one by one of them falling. you remember what I'm telling you. And we are not saying that because you want anything bad to happen. That's not the goal. But you can't touch God and just walk away. When God is saving souls. Yeah. Mm -mm, it doesn't go down like that. 